So in order to learn how to create watercolors, of course, you need to understand the consistencies of watercolor pigments. Uh, particularly, I'm going to be dis uh, discussing here on how to uh, control the watercolor pigment as to the ratio. So I'm, sh uh, I'm first doing the most diluted pigment consistency, which is that of tea. You can see it's it's more of water than pigment. I recommend that you first use a ratio of two is to one, two being the water and one being the pigment but you may want to dilute that further probably three is to one and i'm drying my brush just to pick up the excess water and of course you could uh, use gravity to rotate around and distribute the pigment uh, evenly so it's normal to have this sort of texture um onto the watercolor paper which is cold press that I'm using here, 300 grams per square meter. Now I'm going for the consistency of milk here. I've added a, a bit more pigment to the mixture. So notice that I'm loading up my brush, which is a, a sable brush, which is a natural hair brush. So natural hair holds more water than nylon so i'm pushing this a bit more okay so i'm using gravity here just to assist me a bit but not too much now to the last part of course then use gravity a bit to move the pigment the next consistency would be cream so i've added a bit more so as you go on throughout this cons these consistencies you add a bit more of course judge accordingly so we're pushing and i'm doing that slight s motion so i'm drying up my brush first if i'm going to have to lift up some of the excess and that drains up a bit of that corner there and use gravity assist of course to sort of like evenly spread and for the last part of course i'm going to be adding a bit more pigment than water to the ratio and this would be the honey consistency it's a bit harder to control of course the the, the thickness of the pigment is it's pretty dense and it's hard to uh, spread it try to do your best if you're going to this consistency now i discourage anyone from using um, masking tape in order to execute these because it's gonna make a mess and at the same time it might ruin the paper if you take them off and some of the fibers would come along with the uh, masking tape and I guess this exercise in consistency ends here you can do another row in order to perfect these consistencies